Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick meal that you can have during a Daniel fast. It's the beginning of the year and I have one video that I did like two years ago and um, it just did really good. It's a Daniel fast meal, so or Dan Daniel fast friendly meals. So I'm going to do one today and this is something that I would normally eat any, any time of the year, but it is very Daniel fast friendly if you just tweak it a little bit. So I'm going to show you what I have here I have right here there you go. I have a large potato that I diced I have a half a large onion I have uh, an orange bell pepper the whole one I just diced it up and some jalapenos I did take off the seeds but you can keep the seeds on you can leave out the jalapeno altogether whatever you want but these are some of the veggies I have I also have a cup of corn this is frozen corn I have a bag of this frozen sweet potatoes. I have already steamed it in the microwave. So this is sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. And where's my, oh, and a can of black beans. I'm, I'm draining them out right now. You just drain them out, rinse them off. And so that those are the veggies I'm going to have in this meal. And um, let's get cooking. Okay, so here's my pot. This is what I'm going to use to cook all this. And let's get cooking. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to put some olive oil onto my pot here. So let's put a little bit of olive oil. There we go. And I'm going to start with the potatoes and the onions and the jalapenos to, to start sauteing these. So you know what? I'm going to start with the, the potatoes, all this, the onions, the potatoes, the jalapenos, and the bell pepper. I'm gonna start with that because everything else is pretty much cooked. The corn is cooked, just needs to heat up. The potato, the sweet potatoes are cooked. The um, beans are cooked. This is what needs to saute and cook up a little. And then we're gonna add, oh, I don't wanna throw in the jalapeno seeds. Take that out. So I'm gonna let this saute and then I'm gonna show you what seasonings I'm going to use in this meal. Or oh, another thing I'm doing is I'm doing some brown rice. This is just brown rice instant one. This is the one I like to use because it cooks up so fast and it's really good and good for you. So while this sautés, let me show you what seasonings we're using for this pot of veggies. So I'm gonna be using some oregano. Some oregano. I'm gonna be using some ground cumin. I'm gonna be using some chili powder. I'll be using some cayenne pepper. This is spicy, I like spicy. I'll be using some garlic powder. Sorry, my camera's not focusing, but an onion powder. And white um, pepper, white ground pepper. White ground pepper. And some sea salt. Okay, so what else? Oh, and uh, some crushed tomatoes. I have some crushed tomatoes here. And that is it. I'll probably finish it up with some cilantro, but that's what I'm gonna use to season it. The season it to your liking. I'm just gonna eyeball the seasoning for myself, but you season it to your liking. I'll give you an estimate of what I'm actually gonna throw in there, but you know, every I don't really measure um, when I cook, which sometimes gets me in trouble. But I think today we're going to be just fine. So I'm going to let this saute. And my brown rice is ready to go. Let me show you what this looks like. There it is, brown rice. Um, I'm going to let this sit here. And then I'm going to let this saute and I'll be back as soon as it's ready. Okay, so the potatoes are almost cooked through, but not completely. So this is where I'm going to add all my other ingredients. And um, so let's do that. I'm going to add the beans. Here's a can of black beans. I'm going to add my corn, this is frozen corn. I'm going to add the whole bag of sweet potatoes. Let's mix it up. Let's add um, the seasonings, and this is where it gets a little fun. This one right here. I'm going to use some sea salt just to season it. Let's use some garlic powder. And again, you just eyeball it, maybe about a teaspoon. You can do that, or just a sprinkle it through. Uh, garlic, uh, this is onion powder, just do a sprinkle. 
And you can adjust the seasonings to your liking. If you don't like garlic powder, don't use garlic powder. I'm gonna use a cayenne pepper, this is spicy. So I'm just gonna be gentle with that. I like chili, so the chili, I am gonna throw about a tablespoon of chili. Actually, I think it's pretty much everything I have left. Almost, so I'm gonna do a tablespoon of chili. And I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of oregano. And ground cumin, just do a sprinkle. And I think those are all my seasonings here. Let's mix it up really, really good. And now I'm gonna add about half a cup of water. I may add some more, but I'm gonna add half a cup of crushed tomatoes. And some more water. Let's do another half cup, so about a cup of water. About a cup of water, just to get everything cooking. Yummy. Now the sweet potatoes, if you have fresh sweet potatoes, use those. Scrape up, scrape up the pan, because there's a lot of good stuff in there that's, well, the onions and the potatoes were sauteing, you get some good stuff in there. So you want to scrape it. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cook down. You want all the liquid to be cooked down. The potato's gonna be cooked through by that time. And let's taste it. Let's give it a taste test. Get some. Okay, let's give this a taste test. Whoop, make it a mess. It's good. Okay, let this simmer for just a little bit. Let all the water get absorbed and um, let the potatoes cook through completely because everything else is pretty much cooked through. It's just the potatoes need to be completely cooked for you. And I'm just gonna let this simmer here at like a medium heat. And uh, I'll show you how I would eat this. Um, there's two ways I would eat this and I'm gonna show you both ways. So you can give it a try when you are doing your dining fast or just any day of the week. I mean, pretty much this is good for you. This is good for you food and you can enjoy this all year round. Okay, I'm gonna let this simmer and I'll show you what it looks like once it's completely done. Okay, so this is done. I turned it off and it looks so good. Still bubbling in there. So you can see it's bubbling. I want to go ahead and throw the cilantro at this time. This is something you can totally leave out if you don't want cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, I'm going to add it in there. And then I'm just going to mix it up. And then I'm going to show you how um, how I'm going to eat this today and how I, how else you can eat it. Now, the sweet potatoes get nice and soft. These were frozen potatoes, sweet potatoes. I've never used frozen sweet potatoes. Um, so they are soft. If I had used fresh sweet potatoes, I would have uh, sauteed them with my potatoes. So they're a little mashy, but it's okay. It's gonna be delicious anyway. So, so I have a nice bowl here, and I got my brown rice. The brown rice, when I cooked it, I just seasoned it with seasoned salt, and that was it. I'm gonna get, let me get a serving. Okay, so I have a bowl here. I'm gonna get some brown rice. Just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna put some of this good uh, mix in here. Put it over. This is gonna be so good, guys. It's good for you. It's a good meal. It's gonna keep you full during your fast so that you can focus on what's important, which is your prayer life and, and just being in communion with the Lord and um, you know spending time with Him. So here's a good meal that you can enjoy during your, during a Daniel fast or any time of the year. Honestly, I would I eat this often so but let me show you another way that you can enjoy this um veggie mix which is super good let me show you here is one let me show you another one okay so i got some lettuce leaves here these are large lettuce leaves i'm gonna get two of these and you can just make kind of like lettuce wraps and here you go you can have just something like this, like lettuce wraps. 
and you can enjoy these. These are super hot, so I'm gonna let them cool down, and then I'm probably gonna eat these, and then maybe I'll eat this for dinner today, so. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. I will link the ingredients and everything in the description box below. Again, you season it to your liking, and you can leave anything out that you're not too crazy about, so. So be blessed during your Daniel fast. I hope me sharing these recipes will take your focus off of having to figure out what to eat so that you can focus on your prayer time, on your time with the Lord during your Daniel fast. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.